morning and welcome to Soul Sisters. My name is Grace Kia Aina and I'm so excited to have with us today my very good friend Joy Downing. Good morning. And we today are going to be talking about connecting in our relationships. Mm -hmm. So before we start, Joy, can you open us up with a word of prayer? Sure. Amen. Let's all bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we just welcome this morning. We thank you that we can meet together as mm -hmm. soul sisters. We can share our hearts. We can connect, God. And as we connect, we grow in our relationship with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for these devotionals. They have really strengthened me. Mm -hmm. And I know so many of us, God. Um, thank you for just the vision of the women's ministry here of really sharing our hearts as we really grow closer to you. Mm -hmm. We love you so much. We thank you. It's in your precious son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Sure. So just as a quick recap, you know, we are in the middle of our rest and renewal series. And a lot of the things that I'm sharing really are from a book. I've generously um, pulled from this book, Rhythms of Renewal by Rebecca Lyons. And I love how she simply outlines four basic rhythms mm -hmm. that we can hold to so that we can live out our faith in a more balanced and a more sustainable way. So we talked previously about the two input rhythms, which is rest and restore, which uh, rest is about taking care of our inner life, really connecting with God. And then restore is about getting active and taking care of our physical bodies and making sure we're eating right, getting rest. Um, and then once we're filled up, it makes sense that we get filled up with these two rhythms and then we'll be ready to give, you right. know, ready to pour out to others and do something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, God created us for His glory, that we're not meant to just keep all of this to ourselves and just stay isolated. And what, um, and that's why now in today, what we're going to talk about is the first output rhythm, mm -hmm. which is connecting. And I'm so grateful, Joy, mm -hmm. that you're here with me. I mean, just doing this together is so much more fun mm -hmm. <laughs> and less anxious for right. me. I'm um, with you. But I am so glad you could be here because I see you as a great example mm -hmm. of someone who really values relationships and makes time, you know, to connect. So I guess my first question for you is, have you always been a relational person? Like, did it just come easy for you to build friendships? Well, I would say that I naturally enjoy being around people. Okay. And, you know, when we talk about relationships, of course, there's different uh, depths of those relationships. Yes, yes. I've naturally enjoyed being around people, but I can't always say that I was really naturally good at connecting. Mm. Um, mm. I love to have fun. Yes. And I enjoy um, adventure. Mm -hmm. But I think learning to be vulnerable and mm. really um, good. listen to others is something that took a lot of time. Mm. God working on me. Mm -hmm. to teach me more about what it is to mm -hmm. really be a friend. So. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, you know, I find it really interesting mm -hmm. and actually it's very true that, mm -hmm. you know, I can spend time with God and get rest, mm -hmm. but there's still something missing, you mm -hmm. know? And so I do find that just being able to spend time with friends, mm -hmm. um, connecting, yeah. it really does give me life, it you does. know, it's life giving. Yes. And you know, sadly, another truth mm -hmm. in our world today is that, you know, with all the social media and mm -hmm. high tech gadgets, mm -hmm. um, loneliness is really a, a big issue, you know, that affects our mental health in right. a, you know, in a negative way. Because mm -hmm. um, if we're really honest with ourselves, you know, we all, I feel like we all have that desire to be fully known right. and to be fully loved, yes. right? Um, and, you know, I just want to share before I have more questions for okay. you, Joy, okay. but before I share that, I just wanted to share a um, quote from the book. Rebecca mm -hmm. Lyons writes, we were made from connection mm -hmm. for connection. Mm -hmm. We were made from connection for connection, which I thought, yes. okay, that really helps put things in perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, that God created us, mm -hmm. well, in his image mm -hmm. and, you know, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, our triune God, you know, they're always working together, supporting each other, 
you know, very relational. Like God is very relational. So it makes sense that we were made for that too. That we're not going to be functioning at our best if we're just by ourselves right. and we were never meant for that. Um, Good stuff. Obviously, you can do your own Bible study about, you know, Trinity and all of that. But one example is in John 15, 25, mm -hmm. where Jesus says, I will send you the counselor, the spirit of truth. He will come to you from the Father and will tell you all about me. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just this beautiful, like, you know, relationship between mm -hmm. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And it is still a mystery. I mean, I, you know, we could do so much more to study the, you know, study in the scriptures about that. But we do, so we've established, you know, why mm -hmm. it's so important for our souls to connect. Um, but I wanted to ask you, Joy, how, how can we cultivate these uh, connections mm -hmm. and how can we build deeper friendships? Whew. Great. First of all, that was deep. I love just how you pulled from that scripture. I know a lot of us have done forming and we've just marinated in John 14 and 15. Mm. And it made me think of a, a scripture here, you know, in John 14, mm -hmm. when um, Philip was talking with Jesus and Jesus answered to him, don't you know me, mm. Philip, even after I've been among you for such a long time. And, um, and I just think about how even Jesus mm. really wanted to be known and he knew mm -hmm. his friends, you know. Um, and so according to the book, Rebecca Lyon, she talks about part of really being a friend is um, be, being the friend you wish to have. If you want a friend, being the friend you wish mm. to have. And she really dives deep into vulnerability. And, Ooh. you know, vulnerability, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of us probably have had some experiences with that that have really left us scarred in some ways mm -hmm. you're right you know mm -hmm. but um mm. but just how important it is in a relationship and a friendship to be authentic mm. and i think that's one of the key things is just really connecting us is being open yeah. honest you know yeah. having a, a friend that knows us and knows even the worst of us but yes. is still willing to believe the best in us mm -hmm. you know and um yeah, that's really, thanks. you know, to me, what's so powerful about vulnerability and connecting in a relationship. Mm, mm, thank you for yeah. sharing that. Yes. That is something that personally, mm. I feel like, you know, I'm constantly wanting to grow in and needing to grow in. Um, I think growing up, you know, I, I, growing up, I think just with this expectation of like mm -hmm. trying to be perfect or mm -hmm. trying to be good, you know, so right. then it's like you kind of, I've kind of put this pretense on instead of being authentic, like what you're talking about. And so um, that's something I've been really praying about too, is, you know, being, which I've really been helped by you sharing, you know, I feel like you're really great at that. Like being vulnerable, meaning being vulnerable is different than just being open, right? right. Like being, I can be open kind of like after the mm -hmm. fact of whatever trial I was mm -hmm. in. Um, but you, you know, I feel mm -hmm. like you're good that you're just in the midst of it. You know, you'll call someone, you'll call me. Um, and so I have to think about that. Like, why is it that I don't just call, you know, be vulnerable in the midst of it? And mm -hmm. I mean, I think it could be, you know, some of it is, I think, being, you know, in the ministry, mm -hmm. maybe I'm feeling like, well, I'm supposed to have sure. the answers, which sure. is totally a lie because only yeah. God is our savior, right? Yeah. But um, I do appreciate what you're sharing there, you know, about being the vulnerable friend mm -hmm. that I want to have. Yeah. So I appreciate yeah. that. I, and I agree. I think, you know, a lot of us have, you know, for me, even growing up being more performance based, yes. you know, really wanting to look good. Mm -hmm. you know because i feel like if i look good then i'm going to be accepted mm -hmm. you know but then yeah. that's really not what draws us close to each other mm -hmm. it just builds more walls right mm -hmm. but the mm -hmm. more i can just say this is who i am yeah. you know there's an opportunity for us to get closer mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's something i'm learning and i'm i still have a long way to go but at least i feel like god is opening up my eyes about the importance of just being raw mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Um, well, you know, I do think this is such a timely topic, mm -hmm. especially as we've been in quarantine, we're mm -hmm. coming out, you know, and right. it's 
you know, can be challenging just to figure out, okay, well, how do I like reconnect and, you know, do it at a pace that mm -hmm. is not going to overwhelm me. Right. But um, I did want to ask you, like, what lessons have you learned from God about relationships, especially during this pandemic time? Yeah, you know, you, know, you hit on something earlier about just isolating, mm. you know, and I think that that is so easy for us to, for me to, to fall into. But I think about the scripture in Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through mm. 12, 12, that really talks about being, you know, together is stronger. I know that's yes. like the theme, right? Stronger together. That's yeah. like the pandemic theme that we've been having. But yes. it's true. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. I know when I'm left alone to my thoughts, I just spiral, yeah. you know, into this really negative, deep place. But when I'm with my friends and I can confess, mm -hmm. then Satan no longer has that, that stronghold, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Also, um, you know, one thing I've learned during this time is that it's been great just to heal through my friendships, to be mm. able to, you know, share about what's really going on. I think about this scripture that I, I love. One of my mm. favorite scriptures uh -huh. is um, in Proverbs 20, verse 5, where mm. it talks about the purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, mm. but one who has insight draws them out. And Ooh. I just love how, you know, when we're able to really connect mm -hmm. and we're, we're spending time, you know, you get past the surface and you get to get into the deeper parts yeah. of who we really are. Yeah. And the more that we are able to talk and share, it's, it's a healing process that mm. takes place, you mm -hmm. know, and, um, and how important it is just for us to be good listeners. Yes. You know, it talks about the one, the one who listens draws them out. Mm. And it's so easy just to, when you talk, you're so excited to be together yeah. and talk over each other. And sometimes you have before. a lot, yeah, we have a lot that we want to say, but just to be able to just sit mm. and listen, not interrupt, you know, not yeah. to have a rebuttal or um, the answer, mm -hmm. but just to first just listen and, and, and really um, make sure that your friend's being heard. I think mm. that has been so important for me during this time. Mm. And um, I've been so grateful for the women mm -hmm. who have really taken that time just to listen. Mm. That's for awesome. Hours. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I definitely, I mean, you know, by nature, I guess, you know, I'm more of an introvert. Mm -hmm. So I would have to say, you know, in the beginning of the pandemic, I was kind of like, relieved almost like oh i get to have me time you know right but i gotta say i did learn just to really value time spent together i mean really i don't know if that's one of the you know lessons that god wanted me to learn but i definitely feel so much more uh grateful mm -hmm. like i really do see it's a privilege mm -hmm. to be able to spend time right. with friends um it definitely made me more um intentional and to be aware you know of just making sure that I am connecting because I can totally relate. I am like that too. We're left up to myself. Mm -hmm. I'm just more negative right. and critical and then it can be, yeah, depressing, you know, mm -hmm. or feel like not motivating. Mm -hmm. So um, that is really great stuff. Um, and, you know, as obviously as Christians, we know we're in a spiritual battle. Right. And so just as much as God knows mm -hmm. how much we need relationship mm -hmm. we need connecting i feel like satan also knows that mm -hmm. and so he he definitely will attack right. our relationships or do anything to sure. create an obstacle or pull us away from mm -hmm. connecting right so um, really quickly what are some things y you know you've learned that can keep mm -hmm. us from connecting right that's a good one i'm also um doing i'm reading a book mm -hmm. by um jenny mm -hmm. allen and it's called get out of your head, Ooh. you know? And one of the things she talks about are the three lies of Satan. Mm. And the one is I am helpless, mm. I am worthless, and I am unlovable. Mm. And I really mm. think, you know, those are the lies that really can prevent us and put up walls mm. and us getting deeper with our friends and even reaching yeah. out. You know, if I think I'm love unlovable, then I'm not going to want to initiate mm. and be intentional in right. connecting with someone because, you know, who who would really yeah. love me? Right. Um, I'm helpless. You know, mm. I'm so busy. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't make the time. Yeah. You know. I've um, had that. <laughs> one of the things <laughs> that was really cool during this time is um, I've been able to develop a really good friendship because we made the time. We'd get up around 5 a.m. 
Wow. And we, I know. That is and we would prioritizing. Go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we would go bike ride. Mm -hmm. And during that time, we would just pour out our hearts, share what we were learning, mm. and, you know, glean some great podcasts that we've been digging into. Mm. But, you know, I realized that that really, that relationship really helped me during this time. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, like you said, we go through different things, you yes, know, but yeah. if I would have felt like I'm helpless, I can't make the time, you know, if I would have believed that lie, I would have been missing out on a really important Ooh. friendship, mm -hmm. you know, that has been very healing for mm -hmm. me and that we have so much fun. Right. And, um, you know, so I think just really being aware of those those lies mm. Ooh. and reminding, remembering we are worthy. Right. That's how, that's how God looks at us. We are loved. Right. You know? exactly. And we aren't helpless. Mm. So. Well, I appreciate you sharing mm -hmm. that. And I'm so happy to hear like that's so exciting. Like you're getting your movement in as well as connecting, yes. you know, how yeah. cool yeah. and how healing. Um, I do think about just personally, you know, some of the things that can keep me from connecting is like past hurts, right? So mm -hmm. fear, right. fear of getting hurt. And I can just mm -hmm. have this selfish mindset of like, mm -hmm. well, I already have my, you know, mm -hmm. two friends or whatever yeah. it is yeah. and I don't need to good. be giving. And it's, it, it is a lie from Satan. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good point, Grace. And I, and um, just to, to kind of tag on to that, I thought mm. about, you know, in John 15, where Jesus says, you know, uh, to lay down our lives for our friends. Mm. And I like to replace like life. And sometimes I'll put like fear, lay down my fear or lay down my comfort, mm. you know, for my friends, mm -hmm. you know, because it's true. Like, you know, we do have to overcome a lot of hurt mm. um, in relationships because none of us really do it perfectly. We're trying, right? right? right. And on, on this journey, we do hurt each other, but mm -hmm. just the fact that, you know, um, you know, we're able to, like you said, like even for me, just laying down my fears, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, mm -hmm. it's so rewarding to to dig deeper yeah. in that relationship and that friendship that's so true thanks for sharing that um and even when you're sharing about getting up at five in the morning i think yep i gotta repent of laziness you mm -hmm. know because it can just be comfortable sure. and um well, we didn't do it every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe once every three weeks. <laughs> but again, you know, it does just take a little, I mean, a little bit of just like intention and focus, right? And just setting aside that time. Yeah. And yet, just like what you said, mm -hmm. what, what blessings came from yep. that yeah. early morning bike yeah. ride. <laughs> yeah. um, well, you know, as we are, you know, Things are getting better as far as, you know, just uh, being able to connect and mm -hmm. things are more open, you mm -hmm. know, um, lifting the quarantine and everything. Um, but sometimes it can be overwhelming, you know, right. just thinking about oh, our schedules mm -hmm. or just overcoming some of these barriers. But mm -hmm. what advice would you give someone who maybe feels out of practice with connecting with others? Like we know that it's good, but you just mm -hmm. feel a little like, uh, rusty or maybe mm -hmm. stuck. Right. You know, um, what helps me mm -hmm. is just to, you know, we talked about the fear. Mm. Um, I think sometimes the fear of rejection could keep me from reaching out. Mm. <laughs> but I like to think about feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Mm. You know, like yeah, there is some see. fear, there's some comfort, there's, there's different obstacles, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. I think just initiating, sometimes mm -hmm. I have to initiate a text, start there, I th you know, uh -huh. it may just be that first part of connecting with someone, but just initiating a text, um, you know, being aware of what your friend likes, if it is coffee, mm -hmm. treating them to some coffee, yes. you know, um, That's awesome. uh, you know, like you said, maybe walking by the beach and praying, uh, it's just, mm -hmm. we love to pray, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's a great way to connect. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I think just really being creative about ways to connect with friends. And if you know that a lot of them are really busy, I have more flexibility in my schedule, mm -hmm. but I do have friends who are really busy. Mm -hmm. So wherever we can grab that time and they're going to say where to meet them. And, you know, just recently my friend texted me to like uh, the day of, and it was an hour drive to get to them, oh, wow. you know, but, but, you know, I'm going to make it happen yeah. because I really value that connection and mm -hmm. i think just putting aside like we talked about our comfort you know i love comfort you know mm -hmm. I, I can easily just enjoy being you know at home but just 
realizing the benefits that we reap yes. by just pushing past you it's know our so fears true. Our that's so true yeah. i love that um because it's true I, I like that you say feel the fear so you're not saying just like right. ignore it you know it's like yes acknowledging that yeah. we can have fears fear of rejection mm -hmm. fear of getting hurt right. um but yeah that we're going to deny ourselves and just mm -hmm. do it anyway because mm -hmm. maybe even like what you said, like thinking about the benefits oh, or the yeah. blessings that yes. you don't want to miss out on, you yes. know? Yes. And I do think that is our God. You know, yes. God is a God who just wants to pour out blessings mm -hmm. upon us, mm -hmm. you know, that we can't mm -hmm. outgive God. Mm -hmm. And I think if we do trust His ways and mm -hmm. His calling, mm -hmm. right, to connect, mm -hmm. that um, it will really you know, re replenish us, renew right. us. Um, I just think about how so many times in the Bible when people took just that first step, yes. they, were they were rewarded generously, yes. right? Yes, yeah. I think just making that first step. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I hope that that's encouraging to many of the viewers out mm -hmm. there who maybe you feel like, you know, I haven't done this in a while and I don't know if I have time yeah. but I love even what you said like mm -hmm. sometimes I can think in my mind oh I need like a whole day or like hours and yet just like a short coffee time mm -hmm. right. you know um, I do appreciate the times that we were able to have coffee even though we couldn't we were like each in our car <laughs> that, that was probably <laughs> one of the most life-giving times mm -hmm. for me during this past year mm -hmm. you know just having that consistency you know, where we can be lined up. Yes. Social distance <laughs> in the car, but to be able to pour out our hearts. And mm -hmm. I think for me, it was, it is a way to see God's blessing mm -hmm. and experience God's love, mm -hmm. you know, and just the, the incredible uh, fruits of it. You yes. know, I just thought about, I was thinking about even how there's been so, so many small things in my life but who would show up at the door, you know, with <laughs> balloons or flowers or set a little package down? I mean, oh. what uh, it, it is, it's so powerful. It's so freeing. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's really like you talked about what, what Jesus wanted us to experience, mm -hmm. you know, what mm -hmm. it is to love, what it is to experience a sisterhood, a friendship. Yeah. But the benefits, I mean, I'd do it again, <laughs> you know? So, That's yes. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, um, I, I did think about a scripture, you know, when you're talking about how, you know, we're not perfect and mm -hmm. we will make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I think that is something that we need to remember, you know, to love each other with the grace and love that God extends to us. Mm -hmm. um, right. In Colossians 3.13, it says, bear with each other and forgive one another. Mm. If any of you has grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Be gracious with each other, not keeping a record of wrongs. Mm. And, so you know, good. I am grateful for, <laughs> you know, God's way mm -hmm. yes. and good that stuff. we can grow. You know, I don't have to be perfect from the first you know, relationship. I mean, I've definitely made mistakes and I'm learning and I'm growing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I just love so much about mm -hmm. God's plan mm -hmm. of his church and yes. our sisterhood is I'm learning to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm learning that. I mean, I just appreciate the, the honesty, mm -hmm. you know, of, of being able to say, you know, I, I was disappointed yes. or, you know what, yep. Grace, I kind of feel like, you know, you only call me when you need something. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, like right. I want to grow and being a better friend. Mm -hmm. And it's those kind of real talks mm -hmm. that I feel really help to forge us tighter. Mm -hmm. You know, I think about, um, you know, how the Bible talks about us being living stones, mm -hmm. you know, that we make up God's church. And I feel like that's like the cement or the glue that keeps us together. You know, that kind of humility, that kind of grace, forgiveness and love. So it's true, Grace. I think, you know, one thing I really appreciate, you know, even as you as a friend, is just there's this place of um, not feeling judged. Mm. You know, I think just in relationships and connecting is it should be a safe place. Yes. You know, there is a time, right, that we sharpen each other. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. there's a place just to feel like, you know what, I'm not here to judge you. You know, mm -hmm. I trust that 
God is working in your life. Mm -hmm. I'm here to be a support and mm -hmm. let you know that I love you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think just um, making sure, I think as in relationships, that we, we do feel free, like we, we feel safe, yes. you know, um, mm. to make mistakes mm -hmm. and not be mm -hmm. looked at as that mistake. Like, you're a mistake. No, yeah. <laughs> what you did was a mistake, but you're not a mistake. Right. And, right. and then also for just not having expectations. Like, mm. we do desire to mm -hmm. grow, but I think for me, sometimes I have to be careful of my expectations mm. of others because then I'm, I'm holding them to a standard mm, that really Jesus is my standard, mm -hmm, right? And mm -hmm. um, I think just being careful, you know, mm -hmm. of what, you know, allowing people free, to be free to grow, to be who they are mm. in that relationship. Right. Um, I think it's so important. Um, That's awesome. In, being, in just connecting. I love that point. That is a good reminder. Mm -hmm. I do think about, you know, some of my longtime friendships and, there were times where we went through bumps and mm -hmm. you know i do think like what you're saying like being able to give each other space mm. to grow mm -hmm. and our relationships mm -hmm. are meant to grow and evolve yes. or change right so i though. think that's a good reminder mm -hmm. for sure um i know we could go on and yes. on <laughs> talking about we're so still many connecting. Things. we're connecting <laughs> but um uh, totally i just want to just reaffirm um just how valuable it has been, you know, yeah. to be able to have relationships in the kingdom. Yes. Um, Joy, thank you so much for just sharing Thanks your words and wisdom. Thanks for having Sharing me. your Thanks. heart and your experience. It's just so valuable. And um, I know that I would not be who I am today without the relationships that God has blessed me with. And so I just want to say thank you so much for joining us today here on Soul Sisters. And I hope that you are inspired to practice this rhythm of connecting and that, um, you know, even after you connect with God and, you know, get all filled up, that you can even make plans, you know, to initiate spending time with a friend this week because we definitely are better together. Amen. So thank you again for joining us. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us. I hope this has been educational and inspiring for you. If you'd like to know more, please join us by going to study.laicc.net and we'll be happy to contact you and help you in any way we can.